Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of The Amazon Files. I'm Kristen Ostrander, your host, and I'm so glad that you're here listening to the show right now. Now, I've got a really interesting topic to talk about today, something I think we all have said, all have struggled with, all have worried about. Um, First and foremost, yes, we are talking about wholesale today and how simple wholesale can actually be once you know the steps and the process. Anything new is going to be intimidating to us. We don't know what we don't know, and that's okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to teach you some things of how to do wholesale, how it can be simple, how can it be affordable, how can you can boost your sales in any store, whether you have Amazon, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, you can sell wholesale wherever you can sell products. And it's not difficult and it's not um, once you know the steps. So anything's difficult and then when you're when you're new, right? You have no idea what you're doing. So just expect that. You know, expect that you don't know what you don't know. And if you're learning, you're learning. It's a process, right? But one of the biggest myths that I find out about wholesale on a regular basis is people think they can't afford it. They think it is too expensive. And honestly, you guys, when I hear that, I cringe to my core. I hate those words. When I was growing up, I heard the words, we can't afford it all the time. As a kid, I had no concept of money or how expensive things could be coming from a single parent family. Money was pretty scarce. I mean, all I knew was that I wanted the big, colorful, fancy cereal box with the cool prize in it. And I was told we couldn't afford that. Now you can read this whole story in my book, Dream Big, Step Small. Um, you can follow the link below this video or you can get it on Amazon, Audible, um, my website, kristinostrander.com, anything like that. Get the book, Dream Big, Step Small, read the full story about this. But we're talking about some money mindset issues today too with our wholesale because a lot of times it's our mindset that holds us back from doing something, from even taking action on something we know we need to do for our business. Now, I know the truth about money now. As a child, I didn't really know, didn't really understand um, what things cost and how much, how hard you had to work for your money and things like that. But I realize now that I believed a lot of lies and a lot of myths growing up and about how things, about how much things cost and what you can truly afford. So we're going to talk about that because most people don't. They just say, keep going, keep moving, keep doing what you got to do. But This is true for all of us. We all have limiting beliefs about our abilities, about our skills, about our money, and learning the truth about how much you need for your business and how much things actually cost will set you on a path to financial freedom. Let me say that again. Knowing how much things truly cost and how much you can really afford in your business will lead to true financial freedom. We can't have limiting beliefs that we're basing on assumptions. We have to dig deep. And this week, this episode, I'm going to clear the air about the true cost of wholesale, business, and a few other money mindset issues that are holding you back from what you've been working so hard for. They've been holding you back. Whether you realize it or not, we subscribe to beliefs in our head. Maybe you come by Maybe they come from our parents. Maybe they come from our upbringing. Maybe they come from a spouse. Maybe they come from a combination of all the different things that we've learned over our lives. But you're working towards your financial freedom. And your money mindset is everything, including how you speak to yourself about what's hard, what's difficult, what's new, wholesale, things like that. Oh, I've never done that. I don't know how to do that. That's expensive, right? You have to import, right? No, let's get to it because everyone seems to think that when it comes to wholesale i can't afford it comes out of their mouth a story about the cereal and what i wanted is real and a child i had no idea i didn't realize that this cereal cost more than this cereal and what was i going to do to afford the cereal i wanted that wasn't a choice i had now there's words that can be used different ways We can use different words to talk about these limiting beliefs and what we have about money. But honestly, the words could have been like, oh, that cereal is not healthy or that has a lot of sugar in it or we already have some at home and we don't need that right now. But that's not what I was told. I was told we can't afford it. It was about the money. And I remember saying to my dad at that moment, when I grow up, I'm going to afford any cereal I want. 
I remember saying those words. But I'm not a kid anymore. And now I know how money works. And we all have a budget in life and in business. But we also have these limiting beliefs, things we believe about money, things we believe about how you get money, how you spend money, how you're supposed to save it. Um, have you ever heard or said any of these things? I mean, like we're probably living under a rock if we don't, but I'm going to read a couple of these um, phrases and things to you. These are money mindset, limiting beliefs or beliefs about money that a lot of us hold or what we say or what we've been taught. And we're going to talk about those because it's not necessarily about wholesale and whether or not you can afford wholesale. A lot of the times what's holding us back from getting the things that we want and need in life is our own limiting beliefs. We subscribe to whatever we were taught or we, we, we marry all these different thoughts together from where we come and we decide that's what we, we're going to think and do about money. But my question to you is, how's that working out for you? If you're not where you want to be financially, some of these limiting beliefs are holding you back. And we're going to address them. We're going to talk about them so that we can swipe them away and have new ideas, new thoughts about money, new thoughts about abundance, new thoughts about you creating your own financial freedom. Okay, so have you ever said this? We can't afford it. I can't afford it. I'm broke. Debt is a part of life. Oh, I hate that one. Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Less is more. Wealthy people are greedy. More money, more problems. I just can't save my money. Money burns a hole in my pocket. Money is the root of all evil. Money can't buy happiness. We're not made of money. Ugh. Don't waste your money. Be happy with the money you've got. Any of those? Y'all, I welcome new ones because I'm sure you've heard some that I have never heard and your parents have said things that I've never heard or all those things. The truth is that today, in this moment right now, you don't have to believe any of these things anymore. You can unsubscribe anytime to any thoughts that come into your head. You can say, no, thank you, next. Swipe right, swipe left. Your car will drive where you steer it. Your brain will start thinking new thoughts when you tell it what to do. You are in control of what you have. And if you're not, then there's a way to fix it. We don't have to subscribe to I'm broke or death, death, <laughs> debt is a part of life or, oh my gosh, we're not made of money. Okay. Some of these can be actually true, but that doesn't mean you can't change that can't change your mind about what you think about money because it will affect your actions. The truth is that money isn't good or bad. It's just a tool, a resource, something you use to build things, to fix things, to improve things. That's what money is. These types of beliefs that we have, that I'm broke or money doesn't grow on trees or having too much is greedy. They're subtle yet powerful. So we have to get in control of these thoughts to make room for new ones. These beliefs sabotage our success deep down in the subconscious sometimes. We've got to be able to change our mind about what we think about money. Now we go into, I go into way more depth than this in uh, Dream Big, Step Small, my book. You can get it anywhere um, on my website here, there, Amazon, Audible, if you want to listen to it, it's all there, Dream Big, Step Small. But this talking about changing your mindset, flipping the script. What I mean by that is the script in your head is I'm broke and debt's a part of life. Money doesn't grow on trees and all these different things. But you don't have to believe that anymore. You can change that. You're a grown up now. You can swap these negative beliefs right now for something new. Something new. I thought we were talking about wholesale here, right? I know that's what you guys are thinking, right? Yeah, we are, but these are a part of the decisions that we make. And maybe what's holding you back from investing in your business in wholesale is your money mindset. Fear surrounding money, fear surrounding success, fear surrounding like, what if I fail? So you don't try because you're scared to fail. That's a whole nother podcast episode about fear and that, that's going to be coming up soon. You know why? We're going to talk about it often. You know why? Because it's the number one thing that holds people back. I'm scared. Y'all, I'm scared too. 
I'm scared too, to be honest. I do new things all the time that scare me. And I do it scared. I do it anyway. Because failure is better than regret. Coulda, woulda, shoulda is worse than, wow, I really screwed that up. You know why? Because you can't learn from something you're not taking action on. Staying comfortable will never get you farther. Now, if you want to stay comfortable and don't want to move farther, great. You know exactly the formula. Keep doing the same things. But if you want more, if you want different, if you want better, if you want change, that's up to you. That's up to you. So we've got to flip the script and tell yourself a different story about money. Instead of saying, I'm broke, you can say, I am a hard worker and I am capable of improving my income. Let me say that again. Instead of saying, I'm broke, I'm a hard worker and I am capable of improving my income. So anytime you start hearing those phrases, some of these phrases come out of your mouth, like, I can't afford it change the script, flip the script and say, you know what, that's not a priority for me right now. Own your own thought processes. Don't default to the automatic. Instead of saying you can't afford it, say it's not a priority for me right now, or I will make a plan to save for that. I make a plan to save for my vacations. I make a plan to save for something that's not in my normal budget. How you think about money is the key to having more or less of it. So let's get to the wholesale side of things. Could you? Yeah. Most people who are new to wholesale find this extremely overwhelming. They come into it with limiting beliefs that they can't afford it or they won't sell to Amazon sellers or there's no profit in wholesale or all these different things. Can we just admit that when we're new, we like to make all kinds of assumptions and excuses and we, bit, we put together bits and pieces of information that other people have said, things we've read in Facebook groups. And if you're an overthinker or a worrier in general, I'm just here to give you a big hug and tell you we're going to get through this, but I'm going to literally yank you along the way. Because our overthinkers, our worriers, our, our people that tend to default to that on a regular basis love to revel in the excuses limiting beliefs that they have and i'm here to just tell you once you listen to this podcast you're now accountable for this information you've heard it i've changed your thinking so you can't unhear this so every time you hear if you ever hear yourself saying i'm broke say oh no remember what kristen said that's not a priority for me right now or i will i work hard and i'm capable of increasing my income right but you're not gonna believe these myths about wholesale. You can't afford it. They won't sell to Amazon sellers. There's no profit. We're gonna flip the script. Instead of saying, I can't afford it, you have to think about this. How much are you spending on products right now? If you aren't doing wholesale, you're probably doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, uh, private label bundles. How much are you spending on OA and RA each week? If you're spending $300 or more, then you can afford wholesale. How much time do you spend on this? This is another thing. Being able to afford something or putting something in your budget has more to do with time and money than anything else. How much time do you spend on OA and RA? Each week you go out sourcing products for how many hours? How many hours do you spend doing that? Time is money. If you spend five hours making $500, you made $100 an hour. Pretty good, huh? Right? Just think about it. You spend five hours and you made $500, 100 bucks an hour. If you spend 15 minutes making $500, you made $2,000 an hour. This is what wholesale buying can do for you. $2,000 an hour looking for product, ordering product, sending product to warehouse, automatic, $2,000 an hour. This is what buying wholesale can do for your business. Don't tell me you can't afford it. Make it a priority. Spend the time up front doing the research one time and then reorder in 15 minutes or less. 
no going to the store, trying to find the newest treasure, trying to see if you can get 25 of these, and then they only limit you to five. My first wholesale order was nearly seven or eight years ago now. And it was $250. That re the reorder is often less too. A lot of times your opening order for with a wholesale account is a it's a smaller amount after you reorder, after they trust you, after they know that you're a returning customer. If you're spending more than three hundred dollars a week on product, a retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, you can afford wholesale. Secondly, second myth, they won't sell to Amazon sellers. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of wholesalers willing to work with Amazon sellers. They have low minimum orders. They even have zero minimums. Y'all, I have a resource for you for this. I'm not just blowing smoke. I have a resource for you. I have a list of five vendors you can start with right now. Now, some of you have downloaded this list before. And how many action steps have you taken? How many of these did you contact? How many of these products do you carry right now? I will tell you this, I have given away some of my best wholesale resources and found that people still won't take action. That makes me sad. It makes me sad. Why not? Maybe because you have some of these limiting beliefs and money and you just haven't got around to it. When you haven't got around to it, it's not important enough to you or you're scared of something. Let's just be honest about it. You can't change and make a difference if you're not honest about your motives, you're honest about your excuses. Did you know you can't deposit excuses? Excuses don't turn into money. You can't deposit them. You can deposit wholesale products into your Amazon account that turns into money, but making excuses about it doesn't do you any good. Mommyincome.com forward slash vendor. Vendors might be a vendor with an S. Vendor or vendors, check both of them just in case. <laughs> you get a list of five wholesalers for free that will work with Amazon sellers that have really $300 or less minimums. So now at this very moment, you are now without excuse. You can start wholesale right now with this list. You don't even have to do the work. I did it for you. I'm not big on lists because I really want you to learn how to do the process. Learn how to find wholesalers. Y'all in my wholesale bundle system, I teach you every single step to do this. Every step. I don't skip steps. There's no fluff. It's A, B, C, D, E, do this. Wholesale bundle system it can get you wholesale, can get you bundles, can help you with brand registry, helps you with trademark, helps you with getting products, branding products, putting your products on Amazon, putting wholesale products on Amazon, even arbitrage if that's what you like i'm all about helping people build their business you're either in or out and if you're in i will take you every step of the way but you've got to be committed excuses are not an option you can say i don't know how i'm scared or i don't want to but you can't say you can't you absolutely can so i'm not a big fan of lists but i gave you a head start here mommyincome.com forward slash vendors. You can get your free list of five vendors today and you can start buying wholesale products. And if those don't tickle your fancy, there's plenty of other ways to find them. I teach all of that in my wholesale bundle system. The final myth that we are going to kick out of the water today is that there is no profit in wholesale on Amazon specifically. Well, this is kind of true and kind of not true. So I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this for a second. Straight up wholesale can be absolutely profitable if you're purchasing the right things. Here's the problem. Most people jump right on to Jungle Scout or Helium 10 or AMZ Scout or any other, you know, platform that you're looking at products to find and you jump into the top 1% niches and you start looking at all these competitive products. You go to Alibaba or, or India or Fair or all these other places and get products produced in your brand and you're trying to go after all of the same competitive things everyone else is going into. Y'all, if the masses are going this way, I'm going this way the opposite way. Why? Because the people that are willing to work harder will make more money in the end, harder and smarter. Everyone's going in the other direction. 
that means that there's a lot more competition there. I'm not interested in that. I'm honestly, let me just be straight up front. Not like I'm not always anyway. You're going to get the truth here. This is the truth about selling on Amazon. That is what this podcast is. The Amazon files. The truth. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. You've got to do something different in order to get a different result. Now, I've always gone against the grain. Yeah, I started in retail arbitrage because that was the first and beginning only knew anything I knew how to do. And then I started learning. And I thought, let me try that. And let me try this. And then realize that everyone is swimming over in this same pond over here. I need to be in a different pond. I'm still in Amazon, but I wanted to do bundles. Why? Because bundles were a way for me to increase my wholesale costs. I did find that in the beginning. There's a lot of competition in wholesale. Margins are slim, especially for smaller, inexpensive items. You're making pennies. Y'all, I'm not Walmart. I don't sell 5 million different products for pennies on the dollar. I've got to be really smart about what I sell and how much money that brings in so that I can support my family with this business. And the best way I found to do that is wholesale bundling. Because in the beginning, I found great wholesale products, but then so did all of my competitors. And the prices started to go down, just like retail arbitrage, just like any other thing. When someone finds that great deal and they come in and then they're not making as much sales, they start lowering their price. And now none of us make money. Race to the bottom. You've done this. You've been there. You've heard of this. Or OA lead lists. Now, I know that that's like a brand or something. I don't, I'm not specifically calling out a brand or a lead or whatever. But people have these online arbitrage lists that they sell for hundreds of dollars a month and people chase down these these leads all the time. What I'm saying to you is if there you find a profitable product on a lead list, why aren't you going to the wholesale source to buy cases and cases and quantities of this item instead of chasing it around from store to store? Why? Is it because you don't know how? Because I can teach you how. Is it because you feel like those minimum requirements are going to be so expensive? That's a possibility. There are some wholesale products and wholesale companies, their minimums are thousands of dollars. I get it. There's also millions and millions of products to sell. You do not have to sell products in the 1%. I'm going to give you a statistic that blows the socks off of most people. Okay. They don't actually believe, understand how I'm making money doing this. Wholesale bundling. Okay. How many units, how many bundles of one ASIN do I sell per month? Between 30 and 100. 30 is like my minimum. I would like to sell one a day of something. But guess what? I don't have to sell a 1,000 products in the same ASIN to make decent money. You just have to increase your profit margins. Bundling naturally increases your profit margin. You can charge more for four or five products than you can for one product. The customer realizes they're getting a kit or a set or that you've put something together for them in a box. They see the perceived value of having more products in the same ASIN in the same box and they're like, oh, that's a great value for $50. But single-handedly, I couldn't sell just one of those things in that bundle for a decent profit. I'd have to sell volume. So I play the margin game. How much can I make on one product? How many of those products can I sell? And, and then I keep adding them. So that's the strategy. If you can get 12 to 15 solid bundles, that's all you need. You don't need to sell 5,000 units of something or 10,000 units. You don't. You know, my truth, the one I tried to share with you earlier and then kind of got on off, off my outline and back onto here, I want to make the most money possible in the least amount of hours because I love my life. I love my work. I do. But I love my life. I love my family. I like my hobbies. I like my kids. I like working at my church. I like doing life. And I love business. 
I do. I'm always, I, I'm creative. I love business. I love doing all kinds of things. I have millions of ideas. I've got lots of projects going on. I love to be creative and outdoors and travel. I love life. And business is part of life, but it isn't life. So I do this for fulfillment. That's part of why I podcast. I podcast because I love to encourage people and to let them know that yes, it's tough love, right? It's like, I'm gonna give you a hug and a slug. You say, hey, knock it off. But here's the encouragement and the support that you need to keep stepping forward. Not gonna let you get away with the excuses. Cause that won't help you. What will really help you is somebody telling you the truth and then you taking action on that. So that's why I do what I do. Because someone loved me enough along the way to tell me the truth to tell me and shape me into a better business owner, to stop making excuses and stop worrying about fear and just take action. So that's what I'm here to do, to not just teach you and encourage you, but to go along with you. I'm in the same boat that you're in. We're rowing together. Honestly, I'd like that boat to just be a yacht that someone else is driving so we can all hang out together and celebrate our successes. But right now we might just be in a rowboat, but we're rowing, we're together. There are solutions to all the problems. So we can sit around and we can make excuses or we can take action and do it. And I want you to consider that wholesale is affordable. If you're spending less than 300 or more than $300 a week or more, or even a month on product, you can afford wholesale. And right here, right now, I've given you mommyincome.com forward slash vendor. And now you can get a vendor list and start with one of these vendors, buy a case of products and send it to Amazon, buy a couple of cases of products, put a bundle together, send it to Amazon, increase your margins, add wholesale. It doesn't mean you have to spend your whole budget on that but you can give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? What's the absolute worst that can happen? Well, first of all, when you're buying inventory, unless it's grocery and it expires and then you obviously cannot use it, you always have that asset. So if you buy, I don't know, like a case of, you know, throw rugs or something like that, and then they don't really sell on Amazon, guess what? You have those throw rugs to sell somewhere else. I mean, the absolute worst case scenario, right, would be losing every dime you have. You know, if the truck, if a UPS truck blows up and your inventory burns to the ground, that's not even a total loss because you have insurance, don't you? <laughs> you should if you're in business. So honestly, the worst case scenario is not you're going to lose everything and your account's going to get shut down and all is going to be, no, that's what our minds wants to think. This is what I mean about flipping that script, changing your mindset. You can afford wholesale. You can learn how to do it. There was a time I had no idea how to buy wholesale. And now I do. Same can be, that can be your new story. That can be new, your new story. The truth is, what do you want? Do you want to run from store to store to store and buy inventory weekly all the time, same stuff and then different stuff and then always constantly going out and doing that? If that's something that you love to do, great. You're gonna hit a ceiling at some point where you're gonna run yourself out of work and you're gonna run yourself ragged at some point or you're gonna to have to hire a big team for that. And then still products can be few and far between sometimes. But if wholesale, you find a product that's a home run, all you have to do is reorder it. I don't touch my inventory. The prep center touches it. I sit here and create bundles and get really excited about all my catalogs and put bundles together. And then I place orders and send them to the wholesale, my, my prep center, prep center bundles, all my items and sends them to Amazon for me. That could be your life. That could be your business wholesale. You can even do that with arbitrage. If you really wanted to on online arbitrage, private label, any of those things. So it's up to you to change your money mindset, to start reprogramming how you say things, catching yourself saying, I can't afford it, or that's not a priority for me right now, or I'm saving up for that. It's just spinning it a little bit differently. So can you afford wholesale? Yes, you absolutely can. 
Are there Amazon sellers? Are they going to be vendors that they that say no to you? Absolutely yes. There are not there not everybody's going to sell to Amazon sellers. And guess what? You just move on to the next person on the list. Just got back from Dallas doing a um, confident wholesale bundlers workshop, and we went into a building, the World Trade Center in Dallas, and it's what. 820 floors, 18 floors of vendor after vendor after vendor after vendor. So guess what? It's like walking through a shopping mall. If you if you've never been to a permanent trade show like the Dallas Market Center or Atlanta America's Mart or anything like that, then I'm going to try to paint you a picture. It's like a big giant shopping mall where you go from store to store and in the store they have these displays and it's beautiful and it's all their products and they have customer reps and they're ready to sell you product. Some of them have digital catalogs, regular catalogs, but you can walk in and touch different things and see them. It's like a mall. I'm like, oh, I love this product. I want this product. I want to put this product in my bundle. And guess what? If they say no to Amazon sellers and remember that I teach you how to speak with them and present your wholesale bundle business model in a way that's different than other Amazon sellers, right? I teach you a different way. So it's a different presentation when you speak with them. All of this is in the wholesale bundle system, even down to the script in which you communicate with vendors, how you speak to them. I wrote the script for you. You don't even have to think that up. Open the opportunities for yourself. But say this Amazon, this, this booth that I go into, this store that I walk into, and they're like, oh, we don't sell to Amazon sellers. Okay, thank you. You walk right next door to the next vendor and have the same conversation. And guess how many vendors are there? Thousands. So think about a shopping mall and one floor times 18 floors. There are plenty of vendors to talk with, plenty of products to get, go to a trade show. Because if this one says no, and this one says no, and this one says no, you only need one or two to tell you yes. That's it. That's it. Because honestly, I could probably build my entire bundles for the entire year with one or two catalogs from a couple different vendors. I'm dead serious. You don't need a stack of catalogs. You don't need hundreds of thousands of different vendors. You need a few really good ones. So if this sounds like something you want to get into, Get the free vendor list. But if you want to go for real, wholesale bundle system. It's brand new for 2023. Brand new. It's completely updated with every single thing that you need to start your Amazon account all the way to bundling, trademarking, brand registry, and building your own brand. If you want that, you don't have to build your own brand. But it's just part of the training. You don't have to sell a million products. You don't have to sell a million dollars worth of products. Honestly, I don't know if you heard the last few episodes, but we've been at a million dollars for several years and we decided to scale back. Why? Because we've learned some things of how to hone in our business, do a little bit better with less. That means less hours worked. That means more time to enjoy the finances that I'm bringing in. That's real life, people. It's not work, 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 work until you're 66 and a half and can kind of collect social security and hope for the best. It doesn't have to be that way. But you're going to have to put some work in now. Choice is yours. You can make excuses or you can make money. It's up to you. I gave you lots of resources already just in this podcast alone. Mommyincome.com forward slash vendor. Get the vendor list. Mommyincome.com forward slash system. Get the wholesale bundle system. I will give you one example of one bundle. I gave you one, I can give you one bundle example. Last year, our top bundle made $80,000. One bundle, one ASIN. $80,000. Imagine if you had 10 of those. How would that change your life? Do you know how much do you know how much time I spent on the research for those bundles? Several hours, one time. Did I go to stores, knocking on doors, hoping to find my product? No. I went to my wholesale account, pressed a reorder button, and went on about my day. 
There's freedom when you put the work in up front. A lot of people say that wholesale and bundling. Oh, that's so much work. And there's so much this. Look, everything's so much work. You're out there pounding the pavement and retail arbitrage and good, bad and ugly weather. Trying to find products store to store. Oh my gosh, this one sold out. Oh my gosh, this one sold out. Oh yeah, they said we have some three of these at a store that's, you know, an hour and a half away. Did you do the math on that and realize that like maybe you are going to lose money if you drive an hour and a half? There and back to get three or four products? I don't know. If that's what you love and that's what you enjoy and that's the lifestyle you want, awesome. I'm not here to judge any of that. But if you're holding yourself back because of fear or because of the unknown or just because you've made preconceived judgments on on how what wholesale is and how it's going to be too expensive and I'm going to get turned down and, you know, there's no profit. And I was like, we're, we just debunked all those myths. So now we're just left without excuses. I'm here to tell you the truth and to just to encourage you. You've got this. You can give it a try. The worst that can happen is that they tell you no and you go to the next vendor. Worst it could happen, you order a product and it, you don't sell a single unit and you have to recall it and sell it at a yard sale. Okay, but did you die? No. Business requires risk. Calculated, smart, data-driven risk. But it involves taking chances. I believe that you have what it takes. I really do. The question is, what action are you going to take? What are you going to do right now? What are you going to do right now to improve your business, improve your bottom line, and improve your life? Because it's about your life. It's not just about improving your bottom line. Y'all, I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing right now. I appreciate you listening to the Amazon Files podcast. And now I'm going to do the shameless begging of you to leave a review, leave a comment, share this show with someone else who needs to hear these words. You know, you know, somebody share them, share this with them, help them be informed so that they can stop making excuses and start making money. Y'all we'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon files.